Welcome to the battle of the 2024 half-ton trucks with Ford, Chevrolet, and Ram battling it out for your business. At Maloy Los Lunas, that's the only place in New Mexico you can compare all three, and we're going to compare all three right now. So let's take a look at the new 2024 Ram 1500, the 2024 Ford F-150, and the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado. Coming up now on Malloy TV. OMG. We just did a, an awesome talk about the numbers and I forgot to push record. <laughs> Let's talk about numbers, huh? How about that? So we are going to compare all three models, the Chevrolet Silverado, the Ford F-150, and the Ram 1500. First, we're going to talk about the base models and kind of what's base on these vehicles. Um, we're going to talk about an XLT version of the F-150. We're going to talk about a custom version of the Silverado and a bighorn version of the Ram. And uh, all the three of these are very similar when you look at all the numbers, and I've got them printed out here because I can't remember all this. But all three are very similar when you look at price, when you look at specs, when you look at the horsepower and, and size ratings. Very similar. Um, we'll start with the F-150. The F-150 comes standard with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. The Silverado comes also with a 2.7, the Turbo Max engine, and the Ram comes standard with a 3.6 e-torque engine. Uh, so all three of these are different varieties of a smaller engine, but all with similar horsepower ratings. For instance, the 2.7 EcoBoost has 325 horsepower, uh, up to 400 foot-pounds of torque. The Turbo Max, 310 horsepower, 430 foot-pounds of torque, and the 3.6 e, e torque, which is a mild hybrid. It's not a plug-in, it's not a, it, it has a, a battery assist, so it's got a, a battery kind of like a hybrid vehicle, um, but you don't plug it in or you really don't even know it's there. Um, and that's 305 horsepower, 273 foot-pounds of torque. The models that we've got here, we pulled out a little bit different model. Um, we've got the Silverado, that has the 5.3 liter engine. The F-150 that we've got today has the 5 liter engine, and the Ram has the 5.7 liter Hemi E-Torque engine. And again, all of those specs, very similar. The 5 liter has 400 horsepower. The 5.3 in the Silverado has 355 horsepower and the Ram with the Hemi 5.7 has 395 horsepower. Um, fuel economy, very similar. Uh, the F-150 up to 25 miles per gallon on the highway, um, as does the Ram. Uh, the Silverado a little bit less at uh, 22. 22. We'll go with that. Maybe it's 23. We'll look when we get over to the window. Um, I forget. I thought I wrote that down, but I guess I didn't. Um, so uh, all very similar. If you look at the, the sizes of the vehicle, um, you've got very similar as far as, let's see. Like a, with ground clearance, you're looking at, uh, I got people driving around here. Um, with ground clearance, about the same. All of them, uh, the F-150 at 8.5 inches, uh, the ground clearance on the Silverado, 8.1 inch, 8 inches, ground clearance on the Ram uh, in that 8.3 range. Um, width of the vehicle, the, uh, the F-150 is the narrowest at 79 inches, and that's without mirrors. Um, the uh, width on the Silverado is 81 inches and the Ram at 82 inches, so just, just a little bit wider. Um, height's about the same. The Ram is the tallest at 77, inch, 77 inches. The wheelbase on them, 
Uh, so the F-150 Super Cruise short bed, 145 inches, uh, the wheelbase on the Silverado, 147, uh, and the wheelbase on the Ram at 144. Um, bed links on the short, on the short box, um, all about the same. Um, five, seven, five, uh, this says the Silverado is 510. I don't know that I believe it, but we'll, we'll go with what, uh, I, I printed all of this out either off of the manufacturer's sites or uh, with Edmunds. This is an Edmunds comparison. Um, seating capacity is the same. On the inside, and we'll talk about this when we get inside, there's a little bit of difference as far as headroom and legroom, um, but it's all within inches or half of an inch. So all very similar. So really what this comes down to is not necessarily the numbers, but more aesthetics. You know, what, what do you like? How, do, how does it feel to you? Um, and that's really what we're going to look at today is kind of the features and the functions of each vehicle. All of them are equipped with all kinds of electronics inside, um, all the, the infotainment systems, um, the Ram and the Ford and the Silverado, all very similar. But everybody looks at them different. So it's really up to you because the numbers don't really give you much information. There's not a big difference between them. Price-wise, um, all about the same. Um, with those models, with the XLT and the F-150, um, with the Silverado Custom and with the Ram Bighorn, all within that forty-six dollars to $49,000 price range as, as the base models. So, and not the base models, sorry. In the F-150, you can get an XL version. Uh, you can get a work truck in the Silverado. And of course, with the Ram, you can get a, a tradesman model um, instead of the Bighorn. So with those base models, those start Forty-six to 49000 So price range, all about the same. Specs, all about the same. Um, so really it does. It comes down to aesthetics and what features you want on your truck. So let's take a look at some of these things. Let's take a look at each one individually and see who wins the Battle of the Half Tons on Malloy TV. Okay, so first we are going to start with the Silverado because it's sitting on the end here. Um, and, and just so you know, so we've got the, uh, the Ram, the F-150, and the Silverado. I got two white ones and a black one. And uh, there's no, uh, no, hidden meaning in the, no hidden meaning in the Ford being the black sheep here. Uh, it's just what we had available. So we're taking a look first at the Silverado. So the version that we're looking at, the model that we're looking at right now, is a 2024 Silverado. Uh, 1500 and this is an RST so the RST has some added features and benefits to it but we're going to look at the RST the base structure of the vehicle is exactly the same so there's no difference between any of the trim levels that we're looking at it's just kind of what you're looking for so let's take a better look at the Silverado we'll move over here so you can get a side view of the Silverado the Silverado, this version of the Silverado's got the, what do they call it, the dark package or the, I think it's a dark package. Um, so it's a Z71, those badges are, are blacked out. Um, it's got the uh, black aluminum uh, wheels, the 4x4 sticker, everything's, everything's blacked out. Um, and so this is an RST version of the Silverado. Okay, and so we, uh, like we said, we're looking at the Silverado with the 5.3 liter. So there's the engine bay of the Silverado with the 5.3. So a pretty standard engine on the Silverados. Uh, you can see everything's up top, easy to get to. So there you go. It, you know, when you look at cars, you're supposed to look at the engine. I don't know what you're looking for because, you know, there's nothing really that uh, you get to do on these things. So, But if you want to see the engine, there it is. All right. So then as you, uh, as we follow the exterior here, We'll go pop in the interior here in a minute. Um, this 
Silverado has bed liner. Um, you can see the RST badging, Silverado. This one's got a, the tow package on it. We will talk about in just a minute. And then just so that you say you saw it, there's the other side of the Silverado. And this has a lot of features. I mean, it's got the, it's got the, the hitch camera, the easy down, easy down tailgate. It's got spots for your tie downs, bed management. There's a, uh, what's that? Here, let's put this down. What's this over here? So that right there is the, uh, it's got a power outlet right in the back. So you can plug in your extension cord right there and uh, do whatever you need to do. So that's pretty cool. All right, so Silverado, here's the door. Nice door. Uh, this has the Bose stereo. This has got power seat, uh, power windows. It's got the uh, console in the middle. And let's go inside. All right, so inside the Silverado, you can see this has the screen that goes horizontally. Here we'll uh, push the start button. And so you can see the screen has a lot of information. You can customize all of this information. Um, this one's got the shifter here in the middle. Um, this is equipped with a trailer brake. Uh, all your climate controls are here. Um, this has got a lane keep assist. You've got uh, downhill descent assistance. Oh, it looks like I need gas. Um, your cruise control, your controls for the the screens, um, your controls for the phones are here. Uh, over here, you've got four-wheel drive, um, your lighting system. The four-wheel drive has a four-high, four-low, um, and a two-high, and then an auto. Uh, it's also got a, a trailer mode. It's got the electronic parking brake there you go and of course with Chevrolet you get the OnStar system so that's equipped with that uh, you've got home link uh, if you've got a garage door uh, you can program your garage door opener right there and then you see your seating here and the seating is very comfortable in here um, Chevrolet uh, redid on the 1500s the interior of their trucks um, over the past couple of years, and so this is what the newer upgraded one, and then uh, seating in the back. So this has seating for six, comfortably. Um, there's plenty of leg room in the back. We'll look at that here in just a second. So, and the screen. There we go. So you've got uh, Google Maps built in. Um, you've got Google Assistance built in. Um, you've got all the controls. You've got the OnStar Control, My Chevrolet. You can use Amazon Alexa. Um, uh, trailering buttons and climate control there. Um, this ties. This has Google built in, so uh, it will also. You can also connect uh, Apple I, Apple I. What is it called? Apple CarPlay. Um, you can include that here, um, but it has Google built in. And so you can even you can even add apps uh, just like you would on your on your Google phone on your Android phone. So this also has a uh, heads up display on this particular model, um, and that's it. Pretty good. Let's look at the back seat. I said that we were going to look at the uh, mileage on the Silverado. So this is 19 highway with the 5.3. Um, and this is a four-wheel drive RST model 
Um, and you can see uh, all the additional features there that comes with that, including the, what do they call that? It's got the steps, the dark appearance package, that's what it's called, with the, the black stickers. And here's this, the uh, rear seating. And again, plenty of room in here. Uh, it's, it's actually comfortable. I mean, I'm not tall, um, but uh, plenty of room here. That's with me driving in the front seat. This is me in the back seat. I've got a lot of leg room. Uh, you've got uh, USB controls. You've got AC vent. You've got your cup holders there. Um, it's actually very comfortable here in the back seat. I hardly ever sit in the back seat. Uh, so this is very comfortable here in the back seat. Plenty of room. Lots of room. And there you go. So that's kind of the view, quick view, of the Chevy Silverado 1500, the 2024. The model that we're in is the RST. And let's move on. So next, let's take a look at the F-150. And I think that I said that this was an XLT. This is an STX model. Um, and uh, this has the five liter engine, but you can see the kind of the new redesign. So in 24, a little bit of redesign on the front end here. Um, you can actually see right there, um, the new Ford badging. So instead of the blue oval, it's a black oval with white, kind of cool. Um, so they've changed that a little bit of a redesign on the fascia and the grill. Um, so you can see the front of the F-150 here. Let's move around to the side, shall we? All right, so four-wheel drive F-150 STX 2024. You can see the side shot here. Um, pretty standard lines that you see on the F-150s. Um, this has, with this package, the black wheels, black running boards, um, and uh, kind of all blacked out as well. Um, and so you can see a lot of that has stayed the same, but still just a little bit of a redesign. It's actually pretty good looking. As we go towards the back, all right, so we'll look at the back of the F-150. Um, there's the tailgate of the F-150. Again, the f new Ford logo, not new, it's just a different color. Um, you can see that that is right there in the back with the F-150 embossed into the, uh, into the tailgate. This is, this particular one's got towing, towing equipped. And there's the bed of the F-150. There you go. And if we're open it, gonna open this thing up, let's see. All right, so there's the bed of the F-150. Let's take this off here. Okay, so with this, this, what's that? That's just a spot. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but there's a spot there. There's one on this side too. I, I guess you keep things in there. You can just store things in there. Um, but there you go, pretty standard bed F-150. So let's jump inside this bad boy, huh? All right, so the STX model, power windows. There's the door of the F-150. Seating. This has yellow stitching, fancy. Console in the middle. There's your cab of the F-150. Let's jump up inside here. Oh. Okay, F-150 inside. Uh, steering wheel, you've got uh, a lot going on here. Cruise control, um, you've got phone controls here, menu control there. Uh, here, let's start it up. Oh. 
on the higher trim levels you do get the push button start but you can see this has kind of that kind of a more standard screen still in that uh, horizontal mode but you've got navigation on here um, you've got audio you've got your apps um, Apple CarPlay Android Auto um, you can look at the full navigation screen there um, you've got the four-wheel drive button so you've got two high four high and four low in the four-wheel drive um, you can see the dash here you've got the console in the middle USB ports right there I've got a bug on my camera there you go um, you've got this thing and there you go climate controls right there and again this is not the top trim level um, but still pretty pretty nicely equipped this uh, oh this has the uh, five liter um, which we forgot to look at we're gonna look at that here in a second up here um, you've got some light controls there's your mirror and seating the F-150 there's the back seat which we will look at right now so pretty standard but pretty nice huh yeah that's pretty good all right let's turn this off let's look at the back seat all right so back seat of the f-150 again i just finished driving this so that's kind of a normal position for the front seat um, but you can see the room you've got back here. Let's see how it feels. Yeah, plenty of room. Lots of room. Comfortable back seat. Again, seating for six. And window controls. So this is the Ford F-150. This is the XTX model, and but nicely featured, nicely equipped, um, and you can see what you would normally see if you're riding in the back seat. You'd see that and somebody's head. So pretty good. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I messing something up? No, what's up? Oh, no, I, did, I thought I was just curious what you're doing because I've walked by several times and seen people. Oh, we're just doing a comparison between all three trucks, the Ram, the Chevy, and the Ford. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. So there is the 2024 Ford F-150. I owed you an engine look. Just come with me. Here, we'll figure out how to open that. Let's see if we can do this with one hand without you getting motion sickness. All right. Engine bay on the F-150. This is got a five liter packed in there, 400 horsepower. Battery right up top. Again, Pretty simple, air cleaner, air intake, coolant. So yeah, washer fluid. But there is the engine compartment on the Ford F-150, the 2024 model. Pretty good, huh? All right, so next, let's go. Looking at the last one, the Ram coming up. All right, so let's take a look at the Ram 1500. Don't hold it against us, but this one was a little bit dirty. But this is the 2024 Ram. This is a Laramie. And you can see the front grille, pretty standard. Uh, this has the sport hood, so you notice a little bit different on the hood there. As we move around, um, this one's kind of blacked out too. 
black wheels, black door trim. Um, but again, uh, pretty standard for the 2024 Ram 1500. And then when you walk around the back here, tailgate on the Ram, uh, got the blacked out Ram emblem, uh, Laramie. Laramie badge and four-wheel drive, again, towing package, uh, dual exhaust. There's the, the tailgate of that. And just so that you can say you saw it, there's the other side. Looks a lot like this side uh, with the Ram running boards. Uh, wheels look nice on this. All right, let's look at the bed on this thing. So as we peek over the tailgate here, there's the bed of the Ram 1500. Let's open up this. Let's open up this tailgate, shall we? No surprises in here. Say the word. I'll put the bed liner for you. So Eli wants to sell me this one. So, uh, yeah, pretty standard, bad action. And let's look inside. All right, we're going to take this. Okay, so there's your door panel on the Ram. Power windows, power locks. This one's got uh, memory seating. Uh, again, this is the Laramie version, so it's a little bit upgraded version. Um, you've got power seats. This one's got adjustable pedals. So if you're short like my wife, you can use the adjustable pedals. Um, steering wheel, again, console in the middle. You know, that's become pretty standard, the console in the middle. So you've got the uh, console there in the middle. Um, Laramie badging on the seat, but here, let's climb up in here. Oh. Okay, there you go. Ram it. You've got uh, you've got your cruise control settings. This has uh, an adaptive cruise control on this particular model. You can see. So Ram went a little vertical on us. So instead of the horizontal screen, which you saw kind of in the other two, Ram's got the vertical screen here in the middle. Um, this particular model's got your trailer brake controls. It's got a trailer assist mode. Um, your four-wheel drive is right here by the gear shift selector. So um, the gear shift selector on this is a rotary gear shift selector. Um, you've got four-wheel auto, high, low, and two-wheel drive. Push button start. <coughs> Excuse me. Push button start. Um, this has got pretty uh, expansive console here in the middle. Um, charging pad uh, right here. I like that they called this the Ram charger. That's pretty good, Ram. I saw that and it made me laugh. So you want to charge your phone. It's wireless charging right there. And we can start this thing up. Push button. Five seven starting up, Laramie, and again this screen is customizable right now. It's on the navigation screen here in the middle as well as on here, um, but you can you can choose any of those views on your screen. Um, I tell you the Ram infotainment system. Uh, you know they've kind of got it. They've kind of got some stuff going on here. There's the driver assist. There's your radio controls. Um, you can kind of set that up however you want. But there's the Ram inside seating. Uh, seats are very comfortable. There's a lot of storage areas over here too. You've got this storage area, your standard glove box, um, this cavernous thing here in the middle. 
and then your seats in the back and we'll run back there in just a second So that is kind of the driver compartment of the Ram 1500. So let's hop in the back. Here, we'll turn this off. You don't need to listen to that. Okay. So back seat. Again, we'll do the size comparison here because we've got that front seat kind of where I would be driving. And as we jump in here, oh, pretty similar. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of room. Uh, comfortable seats in the back. You've got a lot of charging options back here. You've got not only the USB, um, but you've got a, a, a house plug there. Pretty good. So this is the back seat of the Ram 1500. And again, this is a Laramie version of the Ram 1500, the 2024. Um, yeah, it's a lot of room. You know what I didn't do? I didn't show you the engine, did I? All right, I know y'all are looking for the engine. So again, you know, when we were talking about the capacities and like the seating and you may get an extra half inch of headroom or legroom, you know, they're all really comparable. Um, I'm, I'm five, well, I used to be five, ten and a half. I'm probably five, ten now, but um, sitting in the front seat, um, plenty of room no matter how you configure the seat. Here in the back, um, a lot of room. And that's kind of the same on all of them. The Silverado, the F-150, the Ram. Um, you know, the, the difference in cargo space and leg room, and it's all about the same. And so, quite frankly, again, it comes down to kind of aesthetics. You know, you've seen the inside, you've seen the outsides. Um, kind of which one do you like the best? Because everything across all three of these are fairly comparable. So let's take a look at the engine on this and then we'll kind of figure out which one we would recommend. That's a hard question for me. All right, so let's open up the hood on this bad boy. So this has the Hemi 5.7 e-torque. And there you go. So there's kind of the, there's that e-torque module. And again, it's, it's a mild hybrid engine. Um, so it does give you a little better gas mileage. Um, it also gives you a little more starting torque um, because it pulls off that battery. Um, but again, not a lot that you're gonna be doing up here. Um, you can see the battery right up top here. You've got your washer fluid. Um, you've got your coolant over here. Um, engine oil. And then it's got a Hemi. So that is the engine bay on the Ram 1500. Now you can say you saw it. There it is. So when we come back, let's take a look at all three of these and kind of figure out which one would be the best for you. So which one of these trucks is the best? I mean, is it the Ram? Is it the F-150? Or, or is it the Silverado? You know, each has some features that are really kind of unique to each truck. Um, the Ram, the, uh, the, the ride has a certain feel to it, which is a little bit different because of the way the suspension is. The F-150, if you're familiar with F-150s, even with the redesign, a little bit on the front end. Um, very, very familiar truck and kind of, a, kind of a truck that everybody knows, um, everybody's familiar with. And the Silverado, um, with some of the design features that they've added over the past couple of years and kind of the, the redesign that they've done over the past couple of years, you know, it really does come down to what you're familiar with and the aesthetics. Well, how, do you, how does it look? How does it feel? Um, and that's why it's so important 
that when we talk about the numbers, when we talk about the engine size and the horsepower and the torque, all of that makes a little difference. But quite frankly, all three, all three of these trucks are very, very similar. And so when you look at pricing and when you look at all of that information, it really comes down to what do you like? Um, so if I was going to say what, you know, what truck I like out of the three, you know, here at Malloy, it's hard for me because I work in all three stores and so I can't play favorites. Um, but, you know, I've owned all three of these trucks. I've owned the Ram. Um, I currently own a Ram. I've owned the Silverado. Uh, I've owned an F-150. So as you look at these trucks, it's really, really how, how you feel. What, what do you think? I mean, you look at the front ends of these trucks. You know, what kind of strikes you? What makes you excited to drive? Um, the uh, the 5.7, the Hemi in the Ram is been around and been around and been around. Um, the 5 liter in the Ford, I mean, that's, you know, 5.0, baby. Everybody knows that engine. And the 5.3 in the Silverado, again, a proven engine that Chevrolet has used for years and has continued to use because it's durable, because it's the gas mileage. Um, out of the three, you know, the Silverado may lose that battle in the fuel economy, but it makes up for it in other areas. Um, and a lot of that depends on what you're doing with the vehicle. Are you towing? Are you driving? Um, you know, the Ram with the e-torque, with that hybrid, that mile hybrid assist, um, does a great job. And the F-150, even with the 5.0, gets great gas mileage. So um, as you look at the trucks, that's why it's so important that what we do here at Malloy is if you want to look at all three trucks because you're not sure, that's what we are. We're Malloy Ford. We're Malloy Chevrolet. We're Malloy Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. And all in the same location. I mean, um, there's the Jeep store, there's the Chevy store, there's the Ford store, all together, all one place. So if you want to take a look at all three, just like we did today, come on. Because making that decision on which truck is the absolute best, um, it's hard. I mean, if you're just looking at numbers, it's hard. Um, especially if you're looking like at the, the 2.7 EcoBoost or the, the Turbo Max, uh, even the 3.6 eTorque in the Ram, those are vehicles that you need to drive. Um, we've had a lot of customers that have said, oh, I'm, I'm not interested in that EcoBoost, or I'm not interested in that Turbo Max, or I'm not interested in a, in a V6 pickup with the 3.6. Um, but once they've driven them, and even once they've used them as towing, uh, as a daily driver or as towing vehicles, um, I've got a 3.6 Ram that I tow a camper with. And so after you drive them and you use them, it kind of makes sense. You know, the, the, the torque, about the same uh, as a V8 or the, the V6 or the four liter or the four, uh, four cylinder turbo. So all of those engines are all developed for durability, for fuel economy, um, and for ease of driving. You know, there's a couple of options that you can get on, on these trucks. For instance, you can get on the F-150. You can get the hybrid version. Um, and on the Silverado, you could also get the 6.2 or you could get the 3 liter diesel. Um, so there's a lot of variations on what you can get. But you're going to pin me down and say, Dennis, which do you like the best? I don't know, but I'll tell you a story. So my wife is short. She's, she's, uh, uh, she's short. We're shopping for a truck right now. We've driven all three of these. And for her, I'm going to use her. I'm going to throw her in there. For her, she picked the Silverado. So just because of the way it felt, because of, you know, she's, she's short. And uh, just the way it drove, the way she fit. And that's kind of what's so important. Each person's going to make that different decision based on their personal feelings and circumstances. So come down and see us at Malloy in Los Lunas, New Mexico. We're just minutes south of Albuquerque, right on the interstate I-25. 
Um, you can check us out online at maloyloslunas.com. You can check us out on YouTube. Um, you can check out our individual websites, maloyford.com, maloychevrolet.com, and maloyjeep.com. Check out those sites, see what we've got, and then come down. And let's drive all three. Let's see which one fits you the best, because that's what's important. Not what the numbers say, but what do you like the best? So that's my comparison. So if I was going to say who wins the battle of the 2024 half-ton trucks, it's a tie, three-way tie, until you come down and pick your favorite. This is Dennis from Malloy in Los Lunas. Come down and see us. Check us out on the Internet. Give us a phone call. Um, but let's see which one works best for you.